Today's episode brings us to the Poseidon Reservoir, located just on the edge of Lake Cockatoot. I'm going to show you all the great items to be found. Usually you will be sent here when you're doing the quest for Captain Ironsides of the USS Constitution to find a little item at the end of this dungeon. But if you climb up this pipe, we can firstly Find a robot model kit, which normally builds into a little sentry bot for you. So, if you want a guaranteed sentry bot model for your camp, be sure to join in here. Duffel bag next to this soldier as well, with uh, usually quite a decent item. Exiting out of the pipe, we are going to go into the building itself. First things first, it is crawling with furls. Close combat will be your friend, so do bring uh, shotguns or laser pistols, one or the other should suffice in taking down the majority of them. There's quite a number on the catwalk outside and a little metal office box. It does contain some items we will look after we have a look inside. Let's go! This place used to provide clean water to all the surrounding towns and cities as well as power to all the Poseidon research stations, although as of right now it's not in use. Entering the first office building, you'll be greeted by several ghouls, but don't be fooled, there's about a dozen down below and they will swarm quite quickly. If we have a read of the terminal here, they do talk about a bring your kids to work tomorrow. Although it's against protocol to bring children into the plant, we've decided this year we will allow two children in at a time. If you'd like to participate, there is a sign-up sheet near the front door. We will have chaperones outside to help with those that want the tour but have more than two kids. As always, be safe. Then we can go down here, we can see that the emergency pumps have all shut off due to, well, the nuclear war taking place. The database is offline, however, we can open a security door which will gain access to the dungeon right at the end there. With a steamer trunk, the part you're looking for for the quest, and a glowing one, yes. Now, I do recommend that you set fire to this little area. It will burn several of the ghouls. Some will be much tougher though and you'll have to deal with them separately. Once you get down here a glowing one will make his presence known to you and you'll have to deal with him. But going over to the side we can find more ghouls as well as a steamer trunk and a master lock safe. Now I'm going to show you where to find the key to unlock this by default. In the steamer trunk, will you will find the uh, the Poseidon quest part you're looking for when you're doing it for Captain Ironsides. He'll be happy to hear that you brought some back. Now, if we pass through into another little storage room on the left, you can see the gas buildup is pretty mighty. So again, you will have to be very careful when using explosives in the area. Always recommended that you use it before you uh, forget about it. And you can see as you enter. These are the majority of ghouls that are going to wake up from their slumber and decide that you're going to have a bad day. Now, let's go get the key. Climb the catwalk. You can use it to kite them about, but again, there are some already here. If you do decide to kite them all the way over here, you'll find the remnants of, well, a few more ghouls. Sometimes raiders to give you the impression that this place was occupied at some point. Now, let's jump across. And it's very difficult to spot. Extremely difficult. Right here, the Poseidon Reservoir Key. That'll get you not only into the suitcase here, but it'll also get you into the Master Lock safe. Let me just check, make sure it definitely is. Yep, the toolbox and the safe too. Great success. Let them all gather and set them alight. Now that we've burned them all, I'm going to head outside and check the roof. Outside is much lighter on ferals, but it definitely gives you an idea as to how many you're going to face inside. Once we climb up to the top here, and don't worry about branching off, there really is only items in the little metal office up here. Although, we can climb a bit higher and see what there is above. There are actually been to the water reservoirs on top. Yep, another armor workbench and a few more ferals that you'll have to deal with. That's Climb on up, because there's a little easter egg not too far in the middle of the lake for this one. Ah, pretty normal looking feral. Once at the tippy top, we can find a raider who clearly made his last stand. Makes sense given the fact that this place is absolutely crawling with them. <laughs> now, make a more successful jump than that. 
before carrying on to the other side of the building. Now, whilst there may be nothing up here, there's something on top of that pipe down there. Let's go have a look. Jumping up, we can see that someone suffered a rough way to go getting stuck in one of the intake pipes here. Uh, the emergency ones, I would say, this wouldn't be the place you wanted to end up. Now, given that we've had a little look around the reservoir, from here you would probably continue south to Roadside Pines Motel, which is where I'm going next. Catch us all over there! Thank you for watching.